purpose. I could see her getting weaker. I have no purpose. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, Zelda, yes, you do. Amen. Yes, you do. And she looked at me. This is a girl who, whatever she set her heart to, she quietly got it done. I said, would you pray for me? I knew that I was having speaking appointments, and this was last year. I knew I had some coming up. And I knew I, I had invited her to come with me and be my prayer warrior while I speak on the weekends. But I knew she couldn't do it anymore. But I also know that our God is faithful, and he takes those prayers and he keeps it. And so he dishes it out when we need it. I'm convinced of that. Amen. Next time, you remind me to tell you the story of when we went to a woman's retreat. It's a powerful little story, and I'm sorry that I, I can't. I'll tell it this afternoon, okay. but I want to respect the time. Uh-huh. But she sat there and she said, really? And I said, yes, God has a purpose for you. And you can't be running around right now, but I crave your prayers. Is something wrong? And I said, no, Zed, nothing's wrong. I just need the Holy Spirit in a powerful way in my life. Every day, that lady called. Lynn, I, is this a good time to pray? And you can bet your bottom dollar I never said no. <laughs> never. I don't care where I was or what I was doing. Never. And although I might not have heard clearly, God knew. And I believe those prayers gave her a purpose. Amen. A purpose in life. And they were a blessing to me. This afternoon, we're going to talk about that cycle, that cycle of receiving to give and increasing the joy that God has for us. Amen.